Hey guys, it's me, it's Craig. I uh, just want to welcome you into the webinar, come in and get comfy. Uh, we're going to take about a minute or two, give everyone a chance to get logged in. Um, but as you know, uh, today's topic is not one I'm doing. Uh, it's a member of our team, but I'm just pitching in, uh, helping out and running the webinar for today. Um, so just so you guys know real quickly, if you're not familiar with me, my name is Craig Grant. I'm the CEO of our ATI, which stands for the Real Estate Technology Institute. Uh, we are a team of five national instructors um, who are all over the country every single day teaching realtors everything about technology and marketing. Um, so and that's part of the reason why I'm pitching in and helping run the webinar today is our team is very active out in the field speaking at different events. Um, so again, in a minute or two, we'll get you guys going so you can get into today's topic as why you're here. Um, but to kind of give you a little bit of background, uh, RETI.US is a site that we all run together. Um, and we're the reasons why we put on these free webinars every week is we're hoping you guys will pay us back and go check out the RATI.us website. So by, by doing so, you can get access to over a thousand instructional videos, product reviews, tons of great webinars like the ones we're doing today. Um, so we really would love you to check it out. In fact, if you stick around to the end of the webinar, we're gonna throw in a couple of cool perks for you if you're possibly interested in, in doing so. So that being said, um, if somebody or a couple of you guys can just confirm in the chat room, you can see and hear me okay, that'd be appreciated. That we know everything is working properly. Um, okay, awesome, thank you guys. And as I mentioned, we're gonna get started in just a second here now that we know everything's working right. Um, and I'm gonna be sticking around watching the chat room and also I'll come back in at the end uh, to kind of give you guys your little perks. So that being said, let's start with today's webinar. Thank you guys so much. Well, hello everyone. This is Amy Smythe Harris and welcome to this um, update on Evernote. So we're going to concentrate on the Evernote on your PCs or your Mac and everybody's will look a little bit different but Evernote has been really working to streamline that they look the same. So we're going to start today with um, just some basic setups and I'm a broker owner. I um, sold real estate for 25 years. I'm paperless, I've been paperless for 12 years. So Evernote Notebook is something I've been comfortable with and been using for quite a while. So do what works for you. Some people have transitioned over to OneNote and I'm not gonna tell you what one's the best one for you. I'm a big believer in technology of finding what works for you and your processes. So let's um, start with a basic thing. And again, this is just um, reaffirmation of our previous posts on Evernote and just kind of a review of different things that may have changed. So let's start with creating a notebook in Evernote. Again, this is on the Evernote for Mac. The Evernote for PC um, looks very similar as well. So we'll kind of start, as I said, we're going to start with how are we going to create a notebook? And let's go back. Why should you use Evernote uh, or as OneNote? So we'll do a, a webinar on OneNote for you guys as well. But why should you use some kind of a digital platform for note taking? I find that when you're doing multiple deals, even though there's transaction platforms that are out there, sometimes a lot of us aren't putting them in a transaction platform until they're under contract. Well, that's great, but a lot of times you are working with a prospect before they're under contract, so you want to keep notes. Or maybe you have ideas for webinars or podcasts, or maybe you have ideas for FAQs, and you want to put them in an Evernote notebook and store them. So that way you're not having to repeat yourself. So let's start with creating that notebook. So to create a notebook in the system that we're on, you'll see on the left-hand side, you'll see the notebooks. So I just went right here where it says notebooks and they've made it so easy where you just hit new notebook. And so for those of you, y'all have different ways to organize yourself, which is totally fine. Again, use what works. I normally name my uh, notebooks based on either the buyer's name or the property address that my sellers are on. So every, how I organize myself is 
Every prospect gets an email folder. They get a Dropbox folder. If you're using Google Drive, that's great. Again, use what works for you. And then they get an Evernote notebook. So we're just going to create one so I'm not um, uh, blowing confidences uh, and privacy of my other past clients. So I'll just create uh, one to, um, we'll do one nightmare on Elm Street. And that's going to be our notebook. Now I can choose to make it private or shared. So if I want to share this one, this I could share it with an assistant, um, a co-broker or owner. I could share it with my client. Again, depends on how what you are trying to achieve with this notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and do private because I can always go back and share it later. So I'm going to hit create. And you'll notice this is um, now the notebook has been created. And if you'll go over here to the three dots, this is where you can share the notebook. You can publish the notebook. You can rename the notebook. Maybe you just didn't like the name of that one. So I can hit rename. And maybe I don't want street in there. And then it's been changed. Another option with the three dots is I can set it as a default notebook which means every new note that I would create would go to One Nightmare on Elm Street. That may not be what you want to do for every note you create and sometimes what happens if you do that then you're having not having things organized for you. You can delete the notebook. You could add to a stack. So you can see I have different stacks over here. So I could put it uh, under buyer stack or seller stack and it just depends on how you want to use stacks. So think about stacks as having um, different notebooks. So let's say you have a five subject notebook and each five subjects is a notebook but it's one big notebook. It's a stacking of them. It's just a way to organize them. I'll be real honest with you guys and we'll talk about stacking in a little bit. This um, is not something I use as much because it wasn't around when I first started using Evernote and it's just a time um, issue with me of going back and organizing. Okay, So first you've got to create your notebook. So create the notebook first and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about how to put a note in the notebook and how you can use that for what you are trying to achieve. Alright, so let's now talk about doing a note in the notebook. So, One Nightmare on Elm Street is the a brand new notebook. So if you'll notice, we don't have any notes in here yet. Just because we haven't created anything. Brand new notebook. So, to create a note in here, Option one, option one is you can hit plus and you can name the note. So let's say um, <clears throat> sell and one nightmare on Elm Street, we're going to call them a seller. So um, sellers updates on the house. And so I can do a, lots of different things here and then we'll so bear with me and we're going to talk about all of the different things you can do with this note to make it searchable for you. Alright, so let's just talk some basic things. So when you go on a listing appointment, you're going to take notes when you're on the listing appointments. So what I prefer to do is before I go out on a listing appointment, I ask as part of the seller's homework is to email me their list of upgrades and updates that they've done. So then I can just forward it. But maybe they haven't done that and I've gotten to the house and I need to take notes. So I just take out my Evernote um, app on my iPad and then it syncs automatically to all my other Evernote apps. So let's say here we are um, 
in the house and we are going to write what they've done. So maybe granite counters, stainless steel appliances. Um, and this is something that um, roof replaced, um, let's say September 2017. So um, pool put in by North Star Pools in 2015. So I'd have all of the things that they've done in the house. So that way I have a list of them so when I get phone calls on them. But it also allows me to, when I'm inputting the listing in MLS, of I use this as triggers for me for marketing the property. So I can just copy and paste them into MLS and prettify them later. So for some of us that aren't great at uh, coming up with what I call word smithing is this allows me to remember certain things. Maybe it's a gas range, uh, double ovens, uh, you know, things that are jetted tub, things that I may overlook. So I want to know these things. And then also here I can change the font so if I want the font to be different I can change it so because maybe I'm gonna do a blog post or something about them and I want the script to be different I can change the size of it maybe I need to make it bigger you can bold things you can italicize you can underline you can change the color. So let's say maybe I want purple. So I can do all of this in here. I don't do a lot of this changing of fonts when I am going on a listing appointment. Now I will do these when I'm writing a blog post, but again, up to how you like to work. You can highlight a certain thing, okay, with that. Maybe you needed to check in to that. Um, the warranty, let's say, on the Jetta Tub. Okay. So those are a lot of different things. Now next to that, you have bullet points that you can create. You can create numbered fields. So um, call uh, Milstead uh, plumbing on a jetted tub. Let's say I wanted to um, check into fireplace, gas lines, okay, septic, let's, um, let's say need septic uh, inspection copies, okay, so those are things that for me and you can also do this one, which I use a lot, is the checklist. So we'll talk about using that in a little bit different. So I'll give you some other examples. Now you can also change where it's aligns left, center, right, justify. This again, depending, um, I don't use this in a note on my everyday for my clients, but I do use it when again, writing blog posts or to-do lists for checklists for my agents. And then here's another cool thing is you have a microphone. So I can record da 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 da. And now you'll see, and I'll give you more specific examples in just a little bit. And bear with me because I'm recording this on the, um, in a hotel room. So it's, um, my Wi-Fi is not the best um, right now, but you can see here, you can have an audio note as well as text note, and we'll get a little bit more specific soon, uh, and I'll give you some examples. Then you can also come over, so next to the microphone, you'll see where you have your camera, so hey guys, you can see I'm in a hotel, um, so you can see that I'm taking a photo, and they took the photo, and it's done. So now that photo is part of that. Well, what if I, oops, didn't really want that photo. I hit something wrong. I can backspace and delete it out. And here's another thing that you can do next to the camera button 
is you will have the paper clip. And so obviously you saw some of my recent ones. So we'll just do, um, we'll do just one that no big deal that you guys can see. So um, maybe in this note, I needed a PDF file of information on confirmations, or maybe I needed a copy of the home warranty on the jetted tub so I can put it inside this note. And then here, you can also pull from your Google Drive, which is a newer feature and it's really a nice feature to have. And then let, again, we're just overviewing a note and then I'll get more specific about how you can do notes. You'll have over here on the right hand side share. So this is where I can share to Again, a assistant, I can share it to a client. I have found I share this more with partners that I'm doing um, business with, business partners or with assistant stuff. But my clients don't use this as much as I thought they were. Now I do use this for when I am sharing a note for a to-do list to an agent. So again, we'll talk about that in a little bit more. And then over here, you can have a lot of things. So remember almost every program, when you see three little dots to the right, that means there's more information. So let's say I maybe hypothetically, I put this note in the wrong um, notebook. So you'll see right here, it says one nightmare on Elm Street. Well, maybe it should have been in 207 Gray Lake, let's say, and I'll put it in there. Okay, so now on One Nightmare on Elm Street, I don't have that note in there anymore. Because so now you'll see there's no notes on that. But if I oops and I want that back, I can go to the All Notes and then I can move it back to One Nightmare on Elm Street. So those are things that, great, that you can have templates. I use the templates for, again, checklists for clients, checklists for agents, age, excuse me, agents if you're recruiting. If you have a long note, you can do find within the note so you can just get to that specific part. You can annotate the note, which is a newer function. And so I can put the whole note as a PDF. And then I can annotate. So I can make notes, check out this. I can box it in. I can wipe it out. I can point it out with the arrow. So there's a lot of things you can do, but again, some people will use this, some people won't use it as much on the annotation. I think it depends on how you like to keep your notes. And so we're going to go back to the three dots over here. Um, and so just so you guys see, you can add a reminder. So by adding a reminder to a note, it's a great way for for me at least to, oops, I got to check into this. So again, that's something that you can use if that works for what you like to do. And you can add on this one, you can also present. So if you have a big PDF file, you can actually present just like a slideshow on here. I've done it a couple times with clients. I don't use it as much as maybe some of you may do. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of a note. Now let's talk about notes that are good to create. So on a seller, I do a little bit something different. So I'm going to go over to my notebooks on the left hand side. And so I'll just show you a real one that I have permission to show you guys. And so you'll see it's Six Hobbit Glen. 
and it's under the seller stack. I have more, obviously, sellers than that. As I told you, I just am not great about organizing them under the seller stack because Evernote allows you to search very quickly for notes. So let me talk about um, this um, kind of real life notes that I would have taken. So, and you can see this is a note from quite a few years ago, but it's still very applicable what I do now. You'll see what I did is I walked through the house and I gave him a checklist of what he needed to do to get the house ready. And then all I did was share it with him so that he, you know, had a checklist of what to do. Then you'll see the next note up is updates on the, the on this house. So I had those in case somebody came back and asked me. And if they had uh, receipts, I would have had that as well. And I would have attached those in PDFs in here. So I had a kind of a clean file, if you will. And here's another way that I've used Evernote just on a listing appointment is alarm codes. What's the, um, when are they leaving? Those type of things. Here's another one, and you'll see it auto-corrected for me. I was taking room measurements, and I was using an app called Easy Measure. There's quite a few of them out now that allow you to do it from your phone, but that was the one I've used over the years. So I just took room measurements. So then when I had to go put the listing in MLS, it was easy to copy and paste it. Okay. Um, and then here's another way you can use this. So what I did is if you'll see this note, I forwarded this email with the attachment straight to the Evernote notebook. Now that will be another little mini webinar on how to do that. And so we'll watch for that and we'll, I'll show you guys in another webinar. Again, this is kind of an overview of things that may have changed. Or again, things may have that have stayed the same. So, you, unfortunately, you can't see this um, photo real well. So, I apologize. I'm not sure what happened to it. But so here, I needed to get some repairs done on this property and get quotes on it. So, get quote on sheetrock. I took a photo of it inside Evernote. I created an audio file. Hey Dean, get me a quote on this pro the sheetrock repair. Use uh, ABC sheetrock. Uh, I need this by next week. Um, and then email uh, XYZ. And so that one is something that you can do. And I just sent this whole um, one note to a um, to a, my repair guy, so that way I could get that. Now here's something I still do. And it's, I know it sounds crazy, but we still get sign calls. And even though there's so many apps that are available when mobile apps, but sometimes we get those sign calls. And when you have a lot of multiple listings, normally they always want, what's the price, square footage. So what I did on, um, on these is I normally put the main questions that they're going to have on a listing as well as the website link that they can go to. So I can just copy and paste that in a text if I need a text response, or I can email it to them. So that way I'm not digging for something on an app that I may just not have time, and it's also directing them back to my website. Now this one is, obviously you can see that I didn't need that. I, I made a mistake. So you'll see right there, I can, um, I can either export the note, duplicate it if for some reason I wanted to keep it, you know, a, a empty note, but I could just delete that note. So it's a more clean file. Okay. Now on this, you'll see up here in the right hand corner, I had a reminder set on this for me to follow up on when it needed to be done. So what's beautiful on that is it would pop up on my phone with this note attached to it as a notification. So I can go, oh yeah, I needed to follow up on that. And what did I need to follow up on? So it would all be in the note. So that kind of gives you some ideas of what you can do. 
And so you can change the notes of how they are displayed. I keep mine by date updated, but you can do whatever works for you. If you don't, so again, what that's all on you. So that's kind of one way I use it for sellers. But let's talk about another way I use notes is what I call FAQs. Things that I'm repeating more than once and I don't want to have to keep repeating myself by either an email message or a text message, maybe explaining the inspection period, maybe doing those things. So I went back to the notebooks over here and I'm going to look for a notebook that says working with buyers. So you'll see I have a ton of notes in here uh, that are basically templated notes. So all the research I do when I uh, do an offer for a buyer, builder's questions. So I do a lot of new construction. So on this one, maybe I wanted to um, copy this one. I could copy this note or I could duplicate the note and then maybe uh, tailor it a little bit to that particular buyer. Now this one was designed for originally for buyers that were like, why do I, we need to work with an agent? And then I tailored it for my agent so I could give them checklists of questions to ask on a new construction if they didn't um, work a lot of new construction. And you'll see here I have out-of-pocket expenses. So I have those ready. I just did a clean update on this one. So again, these are things that if I'm repetitively saying them in email or verbally saying them, I just create a note on it. Here's the home warranties for them to pick. They can look at the reviews and all of that. So it gives me um, a chance to have everything before closing expectation company. Um, here's one note that I have in here. It's my... Um, information about I have a video about myself and then I keep in here and then I have an online buyer magazine and then I give them ideas of apps to download so this is what works for me to keep myself organized and I don't have to um, keep repeating myself here's another one um, that I use this one as a tool for my agents but moving tips for buyers. Um, here's a good one. I created this one for my agents as a checklist, but then I also um, made it a template so I could use for sending out to clients so they set their expectation. So those are some different ways that you can create a note inside a notebook and have that there for you. Now you'll see one thing up at the top here, there's tags. You could add a tag in here. Now I personally don't use a lot of tags because Evernote is so searchable that I don't need to use that as much. But again, you do what works for you. Now let's say I can't remember what notebook I put something in and I just need to find that note. Right up here, you can search for anything that you did for a note. So let's say I'm going to do updates. So this would be all the different updates that we that has the word update in the note. So you can see all the different suggestions. So and again it's searching all my different notes. It doesn't matter what notebook they have it in. So hopefully that kind of gives you ideas on that. So let's start talking. The last thing for you guys is stacking notebooks. I made the comment to you guys that I'm not really great about stacking notebooks and there's nothing wrong with how you organize. Just do what works for you. But on this one, let's. this was a listing. So all I did was click on the three little circles to the right 
and I hit Add to Stack. And this is obviously a seller, so I'm going to move them to the seller stack. So when I go to the seller stack, then you can see, sorry, you're seeing my whole life in front of you, is you can see the different stacks I have. In the seller stack, again, I haven't organized them all. You can see that that one on 1812 Woods is now there. So make sure you come back and join us for some, what we'll do next time is we're going to talk about um, do it, adding more tags. We'll also talk about how to use this from your mobile device. And then we'll do another mini webinar or a video update on our RETI site about um, emailing, forwarding emails to Evernote. So can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Start using Evernote. See if you like it. Uh, and if you don't, that's okay. But maybe try OneNote as another option. As I said, we're going to do a webinar on OneNote. And again, it may be just a video or a webinar of how you can use it. Is one better than the other? I think it's just a personal preference. Okay. Again, thanks for coming and joining us. And uh, good luck and happy note taking. Guys, it's Craig. I'm back. Um, appreciate you sticking around for the whole presentation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll kind of look at your questions in a second. Um, first thing I want to do is kind of show you guys the first perk for attending and staying to the end of this webinar, which is kind of giving you a quick little demo of the RETI website. So if you're not familiar with RETI, again, the, R, the reason we do these webinars uh, for free is to help get exposure for the site. Um, as the only way we can do all these webinars for free is we get more and more members using it. But what RTI is, is a site that I'm the CEO. I built the site and kind of pulled in a team of, my, you know, some of the best instructors in the country uh, for technology and real estate industry. So it's so myself, Juanita McDowell, Amy Smith-Harris, Alex Camilio, and Warren Dow. The five of us do this site together. So we have now over 600 training videos on all these topics, cloud, mobile and paperless, communication, CRM, data security, forms management, hardware, marketing, photo and video, RPR, social media, software and apps, websites and SEO, Apple, Evernote, Google, Microsoft. We have a product guide. We write blog articles all the time. Uh, we have top you know, award winners in different categories and we do webinars every single week. So what this site is, there's nothing like in the industry where if you wanna learn about technology after today, at your own time, your own leisure, anytime you want, there's nothing like in the industry. And this is just showing you, let's say I clicked on marketing for real estate. This is just the marketing section, how many videos we've created to help realtors learn about how to market themselves online huge section just on social media and on photo and video and websites and web blogging and seo so you can see i mean this is just the marketing section you go into the google section same deal tons of videos to teach you how to use really every part of the google ecosystem and now all of this is done short little how-to videos all the perspective of how a realtor would do it in our webinar section um you know we always promote the upcoming webinars 
And then if you go scroll down a teeny bit to the replays, any of our members can also watch all of the old webinars. And we've now have over 50 of them because we've been doing this forever for a year now. Um, and you can watch any webinar you want anytime if you're a member of the site as well. We also have a tech product guide where we try to review every app and tool we can get our hands on. Um, and this is just showing you, like for example, just in the app section of the product guide, all different apps we reviewed. And again, these are all done for what are the best apps for realtors to use and from the perspective of how they can be used in the real estate world. So the way the site works, if we were to go back to the home page, right away you'll see there's a little take a free test drive. And if you click on that, that would send you to a page we built, which has over 20 videos you can watch totally for free. So kind of gives you an idea of what the site's about and how it works. You can kind of check out the free test drive. Um, and then if you like it, you would click on the sign up now um, and go create yourself an account. So basically you got two options, either sign up by the month or for the year. Typically our deal going right now is $4.95 for your first month and then $19.95 after that. But as one of your big perks are sticking around for this webinar, I'm gonna give you guys a promo code. So if you type in RETI web into the promo code box, it'll change the 495 to 199. So your first month will only be $1.99 and then your future ones are 19.95. Or if you put the same code over here, it'll drop down the 99.95 for a year. It'll knock off 10% off that and drop it down to $90. So either way you go, either a $1.99 and the 1995 after that for this deal, or you do the 99, you, you would get $90 a year if you do it over on the right side under the coupon for the pay for the year. So that's a big perk. We're gonna give you basically either a $1.99 first month or do the whole year for only $90, okay? Which is an amazing deal because you know if you were to do the normal price of 1995, that's almost giving you half the year for free. Actually, it is giving you half the year for free. So that'd be your first big perk. Um, the other big perk that we'll throw in is what we do with these webinars is they're always recorded and we post them onto our site later today. So sometime this evening, later tonight, you'll get an email saying the webinar is now ready for you to view on the website and you can go check it out. So that's another thing we'll throw in for you is you can watch this webinar on replay for up to a week. Um, and that promo code will be good for the week as well. Okay, so hopefully you'll check out the site and you know uh, like it and hopefully sign up because again, the more members we get on RTI, the more of these free webinars we can do. And we're always trying to help this industry kind of go to the next level with technology. So I'm gonna open it up. Um, you guys have been able to post questions the entire time in the chat room. We're gonna open it up now. Um, but of course, I'd love to know what you guys thought of this webinar as well. Now, I'm not able to be here. I'm actually teaching a class right now in, uh, in Florida. Um, but please post any questions you have. The moderator will definitely try to answer them. And if for some reason she can't, she'll get me those questions and I'll answer them as fast as possible. Okay, because I am able to log in as soon as I'm done teaching my class and see the chat room and see all the questions you guys are posting. So um, again, hopefully you guys will check out our TI and use that promo code and sign up for an account today, get yourself some big savings. And also please let me know if you have any questions about anything I presented today. And um, again, please check out our TI and come back for all the webinars every single Wednesday. Thank you guys and hope you had a great day.